Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, sir. Good. Good afternoon. This is Sai Kiram from Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. I graduated in 2013 Bajor mm -hmm. and a CSC background. Okay. And uh, 2009 my internet completed MPC background. Okay. And 2007 is SSC. Okay. Shadeboard. I have two years of experience in software industry. That is as a software developer. Okay. I'm an AS400 developer. Okay. In Pune location, I have been in my company. So, uh, how much do you rate your, uh, all the two develop tools and backgrounds in the scale of 1 to 5? Three, sir. Okay. Um, let's start from the cloud part. So, um, VPC. What are the components we require to create a VPC peering? Mainly two subnets we need. We two VPCs differently. Uh, two virtual machines. Uh, two virtual machines. VPC is also two. Two. Okay. More than two we can, but uh, we can use the two example. And we can use two VPCs. We can peer the uh, VPCs and we can access the data one to one is it instant to is it okay so uh, and route table what are the modification we need to do to get the VPC peer? we need to do some uh, I mean addition I mean add few things and then we need to modify few things in the route table to get the VPC peer. So, internet access internet gateway okay and then and add gateways what about peering in the route table, we can same uh, if it is any public to public. Uh, IP so okay, we can use the okay. In deep uh, in a VPC one, the go to the route table. In VPC two, go to the any other route table. So what we need to do in this route table? I mean, what are the addition added values we need to add in the route table? So this is one CIDR range, right? This is one CDR range, right? So, do you need to change anything in the route table? What if you need to change? What are the changes required to get peering between this? Other than peering, accept? We will request the the same IP address. Definitely, we need means CDR. CDR is the same. Definitely, we need for the peering. Same range. Same like range. if yeah, if one seventy two something change. If it is one seventy two. Yeah, this same also 172 is required. 172 is required. required. It is going, not going to peer then. Peer. It is not going to peer. So it is, I mean, it should be something else, right? So my question is, a route table of well, like, what are the changes we need to do to peer these two VPCs? We need to do some changes in the route table. What are the changes? No, that is going to be in the NAT gateway is going to be. So other than that, what are the changes? Subnet associations. Fine, subnet association is also then. Subnet associations is the down one. In route table, edit routes. What are the changes we need to do? VPCs. VPC IDs. Uh, VPC? IDs. IDs. And the CIDR blocks. VPC CIDR block is, yes. Yeah. So, our range is better. Yes, yes, that is what we have. Okay. And then, uh, what are the things we need to add? So, one is um, CIDR. CIDR range and then VPC peering name. Yes. We need to edit there and we need to edit the uh, in uh, VPC1 and we need to edit VPC. in the VPC2 also. Okay, fine. So, uh, what is the difference between the uh, NAT gateway and internet gateway? We have internet, uh, we can associate them with the internet gateway to publicly, uh, public IP address will come and everyone can access the internet gateway. Okay, internet gate, then, gateway is attached to what? It is at, 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 attached, attached to, to the, the subnets. Uh, subnets and route tables. Only subnets or VPC as well? As well, subnet has VPC, right? VPC, yes. Yeah, we can so basically, it is attached to VPC and VPC. Internally, so we have subnets. Well, we, we no need to attach, I mean, there is no option to attach to subnet. We can have attached to the VPC. Yes, but if route table doesn't have the, doesn't attach to the internet gateway, what type of subnet it is going to be? It is private, sir. Private, so we don't have internet gate, internet connection. It's not gateway, uh, it will come in this picture. Okay, uh, now you can connect to the, in the, uh, the these two instances with the help of what? The, is an internet gateway, okay. money public, and uh, otherwise it is uh, performed as a private. Private. No one can access it. No one can access. So one but if you want to access, if you want to connect, how you can going to connect? Snack gateway. Uh, if you want to connect, 
we have by public private appraisers okay so my question is there is one ec2 instance there is ec2 instance one and then ec2 instance two yeah so if you want to connect this is this subnet is a public okay. subnet so this subnet is a <coughs> private subnet so if you want to connect how do you connect to the ec2 instance two in the private subnet let us try to understand you have a two subnets so one is public public private, sub, private. Pri pri and then you can access from private uh, you are telling from how can you access how can you log into that private ec2 instance through the public uh, private ip address we can use the private ip address private ip address you can connect there is no internet connection there is no internet connection right so accessible they will give to the subnet and make an access no 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 you can't do that that can't be concept that can't be concept is only one way traffic you can't connect to the uh, is doing but is doing and connect to the so simple example with the help of natgi there is only one way traffic or two way traffic one way, so which way you cannot you are not able to connect but is doing is able to connect to clone the port yes. so it is only one way traffic two way so also question, there dine ट्राफि to clone the code to this ec2 instance i can clone but i can't able to connect so if i want to connect what is the way to connect this for a public subnet to connect we can connect to the private uh, no, no, ec2 instance connect avachu cheppochu okay different between security group and nacl security group and one way traffic it is one way traffic okay. you can give only english and uh, only i mean hello uh, inbound. inbound and outbound rules So NACL inbound rules are one two-way traffic, but uh, out out uh, outbound rules is delay sir. Oh NACL can delay the port number. Delay the port number. And uh, uh, security group can allow the port number numbers. and inbound and outbound rules. Outbound. Yes. Okay. So NACL is uh, v, I mean VPC level and uh, security I mean instance. security group is instance level and VPC level both. both. Yes. Okay. What type of storage classes we have in S3? We have storage classes, five types of storage classes: standard, frequently, standard, infrequently, mm -hmm. one zone here, mm -hmm. and glass here. Mm -hmm. But not about five. Is a six, seven available? Okay, but major. Majorly. Okay. Uh, advantages of S3. I mean, versioning. Well, versioning the uh, advantages. Yes. If you delete the files in the S3 bucket, we can recover uh, using the versioning. Mm -hmm. It's a backup. It is using for the backup. Mainly the S3 bucket. If you delete the files or anyone delete the files, okay. we can using the versioning. We can uh, access the return. Okay. Um, I have uh, three EC2 instances mm -hmm. in three different availability zones. Mm -hmm. I want to attach a single EBS. Is it possible? If yes, in how? the same availability zones, we can access the EBS concept, sir. If we A different available zones we can use the EFS concept. Uh, in the same availability zone. Different. I one A one B one C. If you need the different different availability zones. Okay. Ah, uh, use the EFS concept. Ah, uh, my question is, uh, I'm don't take over about the EFS concept. Okay. Talk about the only EBS concept. Okay. I have three C two instances. The same or different? S same availability zone. Ah, uh, same availability zone. So we can access through through the EBS. Same volume we can attach to the different DC two instances. Directly. Same region. Same region. Attach without yes. detaching. Detach also there is two options. Attach and detach option. Okay, my question is without detaching, can I attach DC two instance one? This wall. This volume name is VMR. This VMR DC two instance one. VMR DC two instance. Two VMR EC2 instance three. Mm. So can I attach the same volume, which is the name of the volume is VMR? No sir. So once if you attach to the EC2 one, EC mm. EC one, mm. after detaching you can access, you can attach to EC2. Okay. Same like that if you mm -hmm. detach it from the EC2 and you can access, uh, attach to the EC3. 
one mm. value we can attach was only for one ec so like pen drive you, you can't uh, attach one more uh, one, uh, one, one, one more laptop we can't uh, okay, attach it. okay fine so what is the difference between ami and then snapshot ami is a predefined function that predefined plugins are installed in the ec2 instance we can uh, use it the ami is taking less time for the ec2 instance creation okay and the com uh, compress snapshot is using for the mainly backups backup so you with the help of ami you can convert to the ami into ec2 instance but with the help of snapshot what you can do mainly value storage backups backups so with the backup see this is ami with the with the help of server you can create the ami right so ec2 instance you can convert into ami and then ami you can convert into ec2 so the volume you can convert into snapshot Snapshots. and then snapshot you can convert into ec2 instance we can attach to the ec2 instance snapshot directly can attach to the ec2 instance no to the ami we can uh, no, no no forget about ami i'm not going to talk about the ami so have. volume you can convert if you take the snapshot this snapshot what you're going to do it will take the backup from the volumes fine if you delete the so the, this snapshot can directly attach to the ec2 instance no sir we convert to the volumes volume okay or this volume this snapshot also can convert into the ami both they can do both. yes 